Hello everyone, so today we'll be doing a very interesting topic on nucleic acid. Nucleic acids, so we're going to answer a few questions here and there. So the first question reads, which of the following substances does not uh, have hydrogen bonds? A. Water B. Glyceride C. DNA D. Transfer RNA E. Polypeptide F. I do not know. So the correct answer here is glyceride. The reason as to why uh, it's a glyceride is because um, the the lack of polar groups in that particular glyceride. Okay, this is the structure of the glyceride. For instance, it's a monoglyceride. So the lack of polar groups that uh, are composed of these. This, uh, this is to say these mo molecules are usually uh, non-polar. Hence, that's why they cannot uh, engage in hydrogen bond formation. That's why uh, B is the correct answer. Question two, which of the following statements is true? A, the type of DNA bases varies from one species to another. B, the type of DNA bases changes with the age of the organism. C, the type of DNA bases is different in different tissues of an organism. D, the type of DNA is the same in all living organisms e all of the above statements are true f i do not know so the correct answer is the type of dna is the same in all living organisms okay those dna bases that we have uh for instance the thymine adenine the uracil the cytosine and the guanine these are all the same in all living creatures except the genetic information in which that particular uh, that particular species has is what differs because there's a different genetic code for each species that exists so for a fish it's going to have a specific genetic material that it will have that's different from a human being Okay, that's why the type of DNA will be the same, same bases, but the genetic material and the arrangement of the, those DNA base pairs is different, hence the variety. Question three, the negative charge of DNA is due to the presence of A, sugar phosphate and amino acid, B, deoxyribose sugar, C, a nitrogenous base, specifically adenine d a phosphate group e nitrogenous base specifically guanine f i do not know okay so uh, when you look at the the dna structure i'll quickly go to the our drawing board hi i hope you're enjoying the lesson that my colleague worked on in biology so on our platform, we have topics, past papers, and tutorial questions as I make this video. So the topics videos allow you to learn the topics from scratch, okay? Now at the end of each uh, topic, uh, let me give you an example of, uh, of maybe carbohydrates, okay? At the end of each topic, videos, uh, you'll be able to assess yourself with the quizzes. These are MCQs based on the exam questions, okay? So which assess your, your understanding, okay? So let me try to see where we could, yeah. So for example, this says choose the incorrect statement, okay? You choose, it'll be able to mark you, okay? That's uh, one way of actually ensuring that you are learning. Then, um, uh, in addition to these uh, topics, videos, and the quizzes that come after, we also have past papers. We've got a part where we've arranged them according to the topics, okay? By the time probably you're watching this video, you're going to have over 10 of them, 10 to over 10 topics, because they're already being worked on as I make this. Then you also have other past papers arranged according to the years, then um, the tutorial questions as well, um, kind of like the quiz uh, questions, but then in video form as well, just to practice each topic. So with this, you are ready to prepare for biology exams and assessments that come your way. Okay, so to sign up, use the link in the description below. Okay, so for instance, if this is your DNA structure you have, this is your phosphate, okay? So we have our phosphate connected to a pentose sugar, okay? You have your oxygen over there, your OH, OH, um, connected to a specific 
nitrogenous base okay depending on which one it is okay okay pardon me okay so okay then there's another okay let's take it this side so this is h2n so what you see is that this phosphate group has uh oxygen atoms attached to it and because these uh, there are certain electrons that didn't participate in these chemical bonds that are left open and because those electrons are still charged or rather are left unbonded with this is what causes this dna molecule to be partially negative because of uh, those uh, oxygen atoms at the phosphate group hence the answer question four the building blocks of dna are called a purine b nucleosides c nucleotides d pyrimidines e polymers f i do not know so the correct answer is nucleotide so this whole thing that you're able to see this whole structure is what we call a nucleotide because this is a basic building block so a nucleotide will consist of a phosphate group a sugar and a nitrogenous base okay this is what forms a nucleotide and these are the building blocks however you may come across the term a nucleoside so this is where you have your your sugar or rather your pentose sugar and your nitrogenous base without the phosphate is what we call a nucleoside okay so but with when you have your your phosphate group that's what we call a nucleoside okay well friends we've come to the end of this particular video if you enjoyed and would like to access more videos click the link below